I wanted to pray for Elijah come today. Elijah is doing a wonderful job there. I don't want to anoint him very quick uh, because I'm waiting for his position. But if I touch this ear, I believe it will work for you. I want to pray for Litabo. Come here. Touch this stomach. Yeah. Why you don't get married to come? come and you try everything, you wear specs, you do this. <laughs> no one see you, eh? No one see you. No one see me. No one say anything. No one. Ah. Fella, the way you are trying to wake you up and do everything, tuning yourself, what? How old are you now? Forty. Forty. It's clear that there's an attack, isn't it? Amen. Yeah, because how can you you reach 40. This lady is beautiful. Can you see that? And the ugly people are getting married. <laughs> oh, this lady is so much beautiful. I mean, I understand this is an attack, isn't it? Huh? How can an ugly person get married in front of you? You even reach 40. Sometimes God allows this to prove your enemies wrong. You understand? Amen. So you are not supposed to give up and say, hey, now my time is going, eh? No. And to extend that, you lose trust in God. The day you wait here, some people will faint. Amen. I promise you. Amen. Uh, even now when I'm speaking with you here now, the other people are watching you. Amen. They're watching you say, ah, beautiful like this, not getting married. The day you wait here, enemies will fall. Amen. Come here. Come on. Hey, the spirit must leave you. Come on. Hey, you spirit. Come on. Leave it. Can you put a mic in there? What are you doing? Uh, uh, huh? uh, uh, you don't want her to marry? Uh, huh? Okay. You can hear that. What are you doing? Reganavana. Oh, you're not going to be living. Ah, I do less so. I do less so. What I live out, I did a mistake. You want a nephew. We never said to give birth. A children will be dangerous. Look at this beautiful woman. It's unfair. It's really unfair to these enemies, to, to her, from these enemies who are against this woman. Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 never. There's no brother you want to marry. I mean, I will not put your name on the line. I will keep brother your name on the chalk. Huh? Did I let you jump? What? It's going to put a car on the jam. The jam will carry us away. Out of my own way, we are playing on Simbamu. Wamo. Hey. I didn't hear anything. But so I let you match on the chalk. I will not let you match on the boys here. Look, look at them. Ask eyes. them. Ask them. It's not just this one. Oh, ask them how many girls are all about old. Because of those that close their eyes. That's what I'm saying. What would you match? I'm a bully man. I'm a rapel. I'm a rapel. I'm a brother. I'm a brother. Hey, Christy Pastor. I'm a brother. I'm a pastor. I'm a brother. I'm a pastor. Hey, Christy Pastor. I'm a brother. I'm a brother. <laughs> there was a oh let, let's allow a pastor to come and try. At least one in prophetic prophetic so can you learn to listen prophetic or prophetic? What are you doing? What are you doing? God is saying this. I told you what are you doing? We're not doing it. What are you doing these days? What are you doing these days? Oh, what are you doing these days? Christians of these days. How are you doing this? 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 
I was checking pastors, they are all married. I don't all pastors are married. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are all married, those that are here. Super Alright, okay. <laughs> <laughs> If you are not a little so you can't a little bit of 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 a have. bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a and the spirits end up knowing these things. The spirit must not know where your eye. You set up a goal and say, I want to be married by this person. Demons demons end up not knowing. Today, even your friend must never know. I don't know if you are hearing me. Let's expose these demons who are monitoring you. Who, who, want, to, who want to reveal your, your, your destiny and attack it. Me, I'm saying this lady must get married. Even by the person who is not a pastor. Can you see that? You can still get married by a person who's a pastor and the person <laughs> become a pastor. <laughs> Isn't it? But the demons of knowing prophetic are <laughs> not <laughs> prophetic. Leave it. Leave it. Jesus. I want to advise this lady uh, after this. Don't, don't put, don't check who you are going to marry who. No, no. And said, it's a mistake. You are growing. In fact, if you want to marry and stay in your marriage, marry an ugliest man. Yeah. You, you, and make him handsome. Yourself. In Jesus' name. Rise up, Mama. Hey, what is happening? Sissy? God loves you. What is happening? Huh? God loves you. Eh? I want to advise you, Sissy. Hey. Hey, sit down. This is my advice because of love to you. Today, don't check whether the person is called or is not called when he approaches you. Check love first. Now check Christian life also. Second. Check love, check Christian life. Are you hearing that? The first thing you check, do you love the person? Second, you check, is a Christian? Can you see that? Amen. Don't check, is this person called or is not called? Because all of us, we are called, but few are chosen. Amen. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday life service and the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophet T. E. Makadenesa. And with me here today is my sister who was located during the service by the Apostle who ministered upon her life, ma'am. Can you please tell us your name and tell us where you come from? Hi, my name is Kidibonu Mvondela. I'm originally from ZB, but I stay in Ebony Park, uh, Madrid. Today during the service, the Apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Uh, Apostle uh, talked to me about marriage and asked me why I'm not ma getting married and even asked me for my age. <laughs> uh, yeah, and um, he prayed for me and then he gave me advice. Okay. All right, so let's speak about relationships or marriage. Um, 
you say you're 40 this year and I just want you to just give us a background of what's been happening in your past relationships were you facing any disappointments or what's been happening yeah I've, I've actually had um, because most I think most of my life um, I, I I didn't like dating dating but you know, when I became a Christian, you meet Christian men, you think, the, you know, the relationships will work and the, the relationships never work. And sometimes, uh, to be honest, I, I cannot even tell you why the relationships didn't work, some of them, because somebody will just break up with you for no reason. And when you ask, them, why, what is the reason? They don't explain. They cannot tell you why they're breaking up with you. It's only later when they meet you in life, they'll be like, yo, you know, I'm sorry, I wanted to explain. And I'm like, ah, it's like, it's like too late now for you to explain. You could have explained like when you broke up with me or when the relationship breaks, then you should explain what was happening. Why are you breaking the relationship or away from me? Something like that. So. And how long have you been trusting in God for marriage? I think, uh, to be honest, before I got born again, I never believed in marriage, uh, you know, because I grew up in a family where they don't get married at all. So uh, we never, s we've never seen a, a marriage, we've never seen a wedding, we've never seen those kind of things. So I never believed in marriage until I got born again. I think w um, maybe after when I started 2021, 20, that's when I was like, hey, people are getting married in church. You know, when ch people are getting married in church, you also have the desire now when you see other people getting married and you're like, wow, well, then I want to, you know, start a family, get married. But when it doesn't happen, you're like, ah. Which means it's not for me, or which means it's not for my family. Until when, uh, if somebody preaches about it and says it's a curse, then that's when you're like, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, you pray, but some of the things you feel like they are too far away from you and stuff like that, yeah. And the Apostle also advised you on what I believe, on what to do. Please walk us through it. What did he say to you? Mm, you know, our Father said to me, uh, that he's advising me out of love and I understand that it's out of love indeed because there's nobody who can advise you and uh, tell you things that can, you know, uplift you to make your life a little bit better. He advised me that I should not look um, for, for calling on a person. I should look for love and a relationship between that person and God. Because I think, mainly, you know, I think one of the reasons why it's, it's like that is because when you meet somebody and they, they don't believe, even if they're a Christian, you know, they're Christians who are in church every day, but, you know, they never believe in prophecy. They never believe in, you know, God can speak to a person. They don't believe God can communicate with anyone. Even if you say, I dreamt this and, you know, I saw it happening and it's happening. And the person will be like, ah, you know, I don't like a woman who is, is strong-willed, who can, who's, why is God talking to you, not talking to me? And you start to feel oh, maybe there's something wrong with you. Or if God is telling you something or you are saying it, you feel like maybe there's something wrong with you as a person, which means these things are not supposed to be happening to a woman or they're not supposed. So you begin to uh, even lose trust in God and lose hope or, or, okay, say, I want somebody who's called because maybe they will understand what I'm going through. Yeah, I think that's... And how do you feel that today the Apostle located you, ministered upon your life and delivered you and even guided you that you should not look for a calling in a person when you want them to marry you? Um, I, I, I feel like uh, as a child of the house, I feel honored because many people, they, they don't get uh, a father like ours. They don't get advice like we are getting. And I believe that uh, it's, uh, it's it's not even uh, it's not even a big problem, a big issue for me, because I believe that whoever is going to come, I'm going to uh, follow God, God's instruction. Because I don't believe it's just my father saying it. God is instructing me of what I should do when I look for a person, or I look. I, uh, if somebody says to me, uh, "Sister, uh, Amen," then I will be like, "Okay, these are the two things that I will be looking for in a person," and uh, this will also. Um, I, I think the advice raised my hope. 
and my belief because really indeed I didn't I didn't believe in 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 men per se in people and you know in in God himself that God can do something and can change my life and can also uh, get even if somebody is not called but that person can also be called in the middle or God can use them and it, it doesn't matter whether the person is called or not or the person has a title or not it's just those are things but love first then the work of God first second